Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing Sequence 9 Memory 4 and getting 100% synchronization on it. And to do so, you need to make sure that you limit your collision and environmental damage to 20%, you stay within 500 meters of the schooner, and you perform a single kill streak of 3. So with all that being said, these do take place in different parts of this video, so definitely take advantage of the time codes if you're looking for something specific. But with all that being said, let's get started with this memory. I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. All right, so starting off the memory, we are going to be ensuring we limit our health loss from collisions and environmental damage to 20%. That means you can, you know, get into one or two crashes, but I'd recommend you just do your best to avoid any of that. You want to make sure you are using your controls to the best of your ability. So you can see I'm going half sail, I'm going full sail, I'm switching in between all these different sort of speeds to ensure I'm on course the way that I want to be. You can take a look at the bottom left and keep in mind the winds. Sometimes rogue winds do hit and that can really impact your course, but you shouldn't have too much trouble in this early section. You might have more trouble later on where you need to have even more fine-tuned controls, but this is a good warm-up to what's to come, and you can just get used to the controls going full sail, half sail, stop, and just getting used to how you're going to be maneuvering. Remember that full sail, you are going really fast and it's hard to turn. Half sail, you are going, you know, medium speed and it is much easier to turn and stop. You are completely stopped, but you can turn very, very easily. So keep that in mind as you're going through this level. You want to make sure you just use the speed that would make the most sense in each scenario. Now, once we have made it to this clearing here, we are headed to the ship. And once we do arrive at the ship, we are going to be continuing with the next 100% synchronization requirement. So let's get started with that. Once we do arrive at the ship, there will be a very brief cutscene, and then we are going to be following the schooner. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! All right, now it is time for us to stay within 500 meters of the schooner. You are immediately within that range, so you don't have to worry too much. Just keep up the pace. And at the same time, we are going to be keeping in mind that we are limiting our damage from the collisions and the environment. You want to make sure that is still limited to 20%. Really, once again, I'd recommend you just avoid that entirely. Do your best to not collide with anything at all. Just taking your time with full sail, half sail, and stop, whatever is suitable for the conditions you are approaching. So you can see I got hit by a rogue wind right there, and things sort of, you know, messed me up for a second. So I decreased my sail, and I'm just sort of, you know, improvising with what is coming to me. And this entire time, I'm staying within 500 meters of this schooner. I'm not lagging behind at all. I'm just trying to keep the pace. And you can go pretty much any direction you want as long as you're headed sort of in the general direction of the schooner. So they went around the right side. I'm going around the left because I just find that more suitable for the wind conditions. And, you know, just I prefer it. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you why. So, yeah, just whatever you feel like is the best option Go for that. Consider, you know, getting through it without any collision damage. What might be the best fit for you and what might be like large enough that you'll feel comfortable, you know, squeezing through. But really, from here on out, it's just doing your best to avoid any collisions, staying close to the schooner and just doing your best to get there quick, quick, quick. After long enough, we are going to get to this point where we can no longer follow the schooner and we need to sort of wrap around an area and we're going to get into a ship fight. So I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay here speak for itself. And I will talk to you at the next point where we get started on that ship fight. So see you in a bit. Can the ship go no faster? between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila's too big to follow. We need to go around. 
God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Alright, so now once you have made it to this point here, you have completed the first two 100% synchronization requirements, which is great. Those are taken care of. And now we are going to be getting in this fight. Once you do complete this fight, we are boarding the Man of War, and that's when we get to the next 100% synchronization requirement. So remember, the time codes are there for you to take advantage of, so that way you can just get to what you need. Alright, now let's get started with the fight and tips themselves. For the small ships, I'd recommend that you use the swivel gun. They're pretty weak and they're really easy to take out as long as you get a good hit on them. You can of course use your broadside cannons and those are also no problem if you, they're lined up with you. But when they're a good distance away, I've been using these swivel guns and that's been destroying them pretty easy. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't do enough damage, but other times it takes them out really easy. And then of course the broadside attacks are going to be extremely powerful. And I had a ship, like look at this ship. What is going on with this ship? It's just stuck there for me. Hopefully it's not the same for you. It was pretty far. But I also didn't want to lose the Man of War and get too far from the Man of War either. So I was trying to shoot it from a distance. And it was just like, oh my god, what is happening here? I have no clue why I got stuck like that. It makes it an easy target at the end of the day. But it's just like having to line it up perfectly. So like I stopped my ship entirely. I'm, you know, making sure I'm getting as many shots on it as possible. And then finally it's taken out. Now we just need to switch to the chain shot. So that way we can take out the Man of War. This is a very easy section as well. The Man of War doesn't do too much damage, like it does a decent chunk of damage, but it's nothing scary. You won't get taken out as long as you're not making a ton of mistakes. So just try to stay on the Man of War. Don't let it get too far and you shouldn't have too much issue in this section. The chain shot is really to disable the Man of War if you're familiar with it from Assassin's Creed 4. And I think you've used it in maybe the naval missions for this game, I'm not too sure. And yeah, you shouldn't have too, too much trouble in this section. Just go ahead and disable the Man of War. Once it is fully disabled, you're going to head closer to the ship. And that is when we are going to have a boarding cutscene. And then finally, once we are on the ship, that is when we are getting to the next 100% synchronization requirement. Ending this. Secure the ship! Hook us in! Bring her close! Two arms! Two arms! Man the shrivel! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the aft line! Tie off the bow! Alright, now that we have boarded the Man of War, we are going to get started on the final 100% synchronization requirement. You need to get a kill streak of 3, which is easier said than done in some scenarios, but it's not like it's impossible. You can see the enemies are fairly spread out, but they're also kind of close together. So if you can just get lucky and try your best to kill three in a row, you shouldn't have too much trouble. What gets really annoying is when you are fighting these enemies and your teammates end up attacking you. So your crewmates that are dressed in white end up hitting you because they're targeting the enemies in red. It's like, what the hell, man? Like, you're kidding me. But anyways, you are just going to want to continuously try and locate these groups of red enemies, maybe even groups that are just fighting all of your crewmates, and try your best to just continuously attack. You can see here, I'm getting attacked a ton, but I get lucky and I get a three kill streak somehow, and you know, it just ends up working out for me. So as long as you are continuously attacking in a large group and just playing around, hoping to get lucky, you should get a three kill streak after long enough. It does take quite some time. You can see I had a transition just because I was so stuck trying for like a good few minutes that it took forever but you should get it after long enough as long as you are continuously attacking those large groups so once you've gotten your kill streak of three chase down the final officers that are on board if you have multiple remaining chase them down and take them out once they are killed you are going to be watching a quick cutscene and ending the memory
What has Church done with the cargo? been quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you... No! No! Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Go to hell. I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond her. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged? from British steel, who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. How dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. Zawanios Ginaa, the Tiahne de Gantu Titogaske. You did well, Ray. His passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. All right, so that is the end of this memory. I think the hardest part was probably getting a kill streak of three, but I think the ship maneuvering is kind of difficult, but maybe I'm just so used to it after playing so many AC games. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys thought is hardest. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If this video did help you, consider subscribing and dropping a like. Whatever you can do to support my channel helps me greatly. It helps with the algorithm and all that stuff. So any support is greatly appreciated. All right. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one under Present Synchronization Guide. Take care and have a great day.